Hey y'all, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be talking with you a little bit about some tips that I use when I go thrifting. So if you're interested and maybe you wanna be inspired to go thrifting, then keep watching and yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> have made a list of things so I kind of stay on track. All right, so tip number one is going in with a plan, starting your day with a plan or knowing what you're looking for when you're going to the thrift store. And I've kind of done the opposite of this just to kind of see like, you know, what would happen if I just went randomly. So I've gone on random occasions like after work or just basically when I haven't planned on going to the thrift store, I've gone and it usually ends up in me not really finding anything. And it sort of feels like, you know, you're just there, but you're not really like, you, there's no purpose for you to be there other than you're just like bored. So, I would not really recommend going randomly. Um, the chances of you finding stuff are kind of, you know, it's kind of like a gamble and then you don't really have a clear mind as to what you really are looking for. And also keep in mind that thrift stores are really like hit or miss. There's been days where I have not found anything and that happens. Um, and there's days where I've gone to the thrift store and I literally find everything that I've ever wanted to find or that I, you know, planned on searching for. So, you know, just keep in mind when you go to the thrift store or any kind of, you know, garage sale, any kind of like um, place that you would go to to find, you know, used or new items, it's, it's really hit or miss. So going in with a plan, thinking, you know, okay, I really would love to find uh, some denim, like some jeans. I would really love to find just some, a basic, you know, a uh, top, like a basic white top or a basic red top, something, you know, simple, a solid color top. I've also made a list of items that I would potentially love to find. Um, so yeah, that is tip number one. So just have, making a plan, going in, knowing what you're looking for, what you would like to find, and um, that kind of just helps you to stay on track. All right, so tip number two is to budget yourself. So I have made the horrible mistake of buying a lot of stuff, spending a lot of money, and not really like planning on doing that. Um, it's just, you know, it happens to be one of those times where you go to the thrift store and you just find so many good things and you're just like, oh my gosh, I want this, I want that, I want all of it. So um, I've spent an unnecessary amount of money at times um, at the thrift store just buying things because you know, they're just great or I just love them and you just have to be mindful, especially when, you know, if you're saving money or you're on a budget already, you don't want to overspend um, because remember, thrifting is about shopping sustainably, um, recycling, you know, trying to, you know, save the earth and not encourage fast fashion and kind of slow that down and repurposing and all of that jazz. So if you overdo it with the thrifting and you just buy unnecessary stuff just because it's like awesome or what have you and you're not necessarily going to use it or put it to use right away, then it becomes like counteractive or counterintuitive. You know what I mean? So um, just be mindful when you're out there thrifting at the thrift store. Don't buy things that you, you know, that just give you that like instant gratification. Like buy things that are gonna have a purpose. You know that you're gonna put to use. You know you're gonna wear regularly um, or for, you know, wear for many seasons to come, um, things like that. So just be mindful of your budget when you're thrifting, you know, budget yourself. 
you know, if you're out there just to find like a simple outfit or a dress or something, say, okay, I only want to spend $20, like $20 is my budget. $40 is my budget and that kind of helps you to not overspend and to also not buy things that you don't necessarily need um, because when I do go thrift I do try to be mindful and when I'm filling my cart at the end of you know my time at the store I kind of go through my items and I'm like okay do I need this or do I want this um, and a lot of times for me as well, because I do resell a lot of the clothing too, um, I'm like, is this going to resell? Does this have a great enough resale value? You know, do I think my customers are going to want this item? Things like that. So if you are a reseller of thrift, um, items or vintage items, you also has, have to be mindful of that as well, because you can have way too much inventory on hand if you don't like thoughtfully thrift. That's what it is. Thoughtfully thrift. So thrift with thought. <laughs> okay, so tip number three. Um, that is going to be don't go in hungry or tired or just in any kind of bad mood. I feel like when you're thrifting, it's kind of like going grocery shopping or you go in any store in general. It's just best not to go hungry um, or irritable or you know not well rested because you want to have a clear mind. It's just, you know, I want to go to the thrift store in a good mood. I want to be rested. I don't want to be starving or whatever the case may be. I want it to just be a good vibe and good times and just, you know, I feel really pumped when I do my thrifting, when I go to the thrift store and I know like, you know, okay, yeah, like today's my thrifting day or I'm gonna go thrifting today. I just, I'm in a super pumped mood. I put on some good jams and I just jam out and I'm like, yes, like I'm in my vibe, I'm ready to go and I'm pumped, yes. So good mood, not hungry, not tired. And yeah, that makes for the best thrifting trip, especially if you're planning to go like all day. So if you're planning on being out for a good while, you just want to, you know, make sure you're mentally and physically prepared for that. So yeah, good jams, well fed and well rested, and you will have a great time thrifting. So number four, that is going to be checking all of your racks, all of your areas. So again, this goes back to knowing what you're looking for. So if I'm gonna set aside time to go thrifting, like for a day or for half a day, I'm usually searching just kind of all areas. Um, so if you're a person, again, that resells, search everywhere, okay? Do, you know, one section at a time and just take your time and go through the sections even the take back racks so those racks that you'll see that people place um their stuff on after they've tried it on from the fitting room or um the racks that they're setting items on to be taken back out into the store so it's usually like by the register or something and you can go through it it's not a big deal um, you know, searching through the bins on some days at particular thrift stores, they put out bins, um, like on a Thursday, I believe at one of the thrift stores I go to, they put out like these big, huge bins all throughout the store and you dig through them, check them. And you know, the bins take a lot of time because you're just like digging through clothes and trying to find something good or what have you. So digging through the bins, uh, going through the men's section, you can find lots of nice button ups or even vintage button ups in the, uh, like pearl snaps in the men's section. Um, searching, you know, the shoe area, just, you know, looking at shoes, things like that. So just checking all the areas when you go out into the thrift store, especially if it's your first time or you haven't really thrifted a whole lot, getting familiar with all of the different areas of the store is is just crucial because i can pretty much like know when i'm going into the thrift stores because i go to the same ones uh you know where things are going to be 
what the layout's gonna be and you know where I'm gonna find what or for the most part you know have a good idea of oh I'm looking for this so yeah it's gonna be in that area so if you're new to thrifting and you've never really like gone before you poke through every area and see what things you can find let's move on to number five uh, so okay so number five is really important okay especially you know if it is your first time thrifting or again you're a beginner thrifter so picking your items up um, and that goes with anything but if you're mainly going to be thrifting clothing you have to inspect your items because a lot of times you can pick something up and even though it like looks okay like let me show you an example so this dress right very pretty uh sleeveless dress very flowy has this like beautiful floral print i thought this was absolutely stunning i just i love this dress so much it's so pretty and it had the tag on it so it still had the tag on it i took it off so i had picked this up at the thrift store and i remember it like it was yesterday i found this dress a couple of months ago but i picked it up and i saw the tag right like brand new tag on it and i was you know i went i usually run my hand down both sides i inspect the bottom of the uh, item to see if there's any like fraying or rips or tears or anything i look at the back and i'm like okay this is great toss it in the cart and then i got it home and realized that it's missing a button so it is missing the button that the little neck um tie goes around so that may be why this person gave this dress away or decided that they didn't want it anymore. Um, I mean, it's brand new. It looks to be never worn. So now that I've realized that, I'm like, okay, I still love this dress. I'm not giving it up and I'm, you know, I wanna keep it for myself. So I do have to take the extra time to sew a button on it, which is not really a big deal, but you know, sometimes there's items where you know, they can't be fixed or they're just like past the point of repair or you have to take the time to now repair it. Like, I mean, putting a button on, yeah, it's simple, but it's still it's still gonna take time. Like I can't just wash this and then go out and wear it. Like I, I still have to put the button on. So, you know, repairing things, do you wanna repair them? Do you not? Like if a zipper's broken or if there's multiple buttons off, if there's, you know, holes in the garment, do you wanna get those fixed? Do you wanna mend them? Can you mend them yourself? if there's stains. So sometimes I'll come across items that have stains on them, but I'll just go ahead and get it out. And it's like, you know, the garment's brand new. So another example of, you know, inspecting your garments, who are these periwinkle blue uh, slacks. I thought this was just a, a super pretty color. Um, I don't have pants of this color, but then when I got them home, like I saw these plant pants and I picked them up and just kind of tossed them in my basket. Like they didn't, I couldn't really see that well. Like, I don't know. I feel like the lighting was like not good in that store, <laughs> whatever. Um, but when I got them home, I noticed that there was like some fraying, um, I may have already taken care of it but there was some pretty noticeable fraying like on the lower knee portion of the pant um not fraying pilling pilling there was a significant amount of pilling and i was like oh my gosh like how did i not see that but it was a really really like decent patch of pilling um on both legs and now i can't find it because i did i did fix it okay so yeah i fixed it um but you know if you're not familiar with you know fixing a pilling item or sewing or you know patching something up then really really take the time to inspect your garments because i can tell you that if i picked these pants up a year or two ago and it had that pilling on it i probably would have been like oh man and redonated them because uh i wouldn't have been familiar on how to repair them but pilling is a very very easy thing to fix you can get one of these oh 
one of these fabric shavers. This thing is literally a lifesaver. I love this little gadget and they come in all different shapes and sizes. Like some of them are pretty big um, and some of them are kind of like pocket size like this one. I love this one because it's super small and it's compact and it's just easy for me to use. Um, it is battery operated and it has that little like kind of um, cheese grater looking thing at the bottom, but you turn it on like that and you literally rub it on the fabric and it works with most fabrics. Oh, some of the fuzz came out. It works with most fabrics and I just move it around in a circle and it takes off all of that filling. This is great for sweaters. This is great for really like any kind of material. It'll just take off all those little beady things off of your clothing. So I think I got this off of Amazon. I got this a while, like a year ago. Um, it's just been so good. So yes, t-shirts, if they get those little balls on them or whatever, you just run one of these across it and it'll take off all of those little things. So I love this thing so much. I do believe it had a cap on it at some point, but I don't even know, but I love it. It's my favorite. So yeah, um, I did want to show you an example. So this amazing vintage green sweater I just recently got and so I noticed that it did have some pilling on it so as you can see I don't know if you can see those like fuzzies you know those balled up fuzzy areas so if I just take my fabric shaver Ideally, you want to do this on like a flat surface, but it's fine. It's just fine. I'm just rubbing it across. And look, they're all gone. So they were all right there, and now it's smooth, like new, and it's fine. And no damage to the sweater. All right. When you're thrifting items and you come across something that you're just like, oh my gosh, I want this so bad, but it has like a small stain on it, don't let that deter you from purchasing it because a lot of times stains can be removed or for the most part removed. So my favorite, favorite, favorite stain remover is Grandma's Secret. So this is kind of like a little concentrate. It came in this little bottle. Um, you can just use it as a spot treatment and then take the stain out. So I do love this stuff so much. It has worked on so many different stains. It's insane, but I love this stuff. This is my favorite. If you have a favorite that you enjoy or something you know that you've been using for years, let me know in the comments. I'd love to, you know, know what you guys use for stains. Um, but yeah, this is Grandma's Secret and it does come in like a spray form too, kind of like a big spray bottle, like a normal like spray and wash would be. Um, but yeah, and I believe you can find this, dang, where can you find this at? I know they have it on Amazon. Um, they have it on Amazon. I found this one at Ross. They had it at Ross randomly. Um, but I know I've seen it on Amazon and I think I've seen it at Walmart, but it's so good. Grandma's Secret, y'all. And I think it's all natural, too. I don't know. It's good. Um, so, yeah. Check your garments. Check, check, check your garments. Run your hands, you know, down the garment. Look front and back. Um, you know, look at all the edges. Test your zippers. Test your buttons. All of that. And with shoes, check the soles. Check the bottoms. Check the insides check everything because I've also thrifted shoes where, you know, they looked great and I just grabbed them quickly, but the little portion of the, they were a pair of heels and the little like end of the heel was like completely off. And you know, shame on me because I didn't fully inspect my item. I didn't take the time to look at it. And yeah, and I usually do that, um, like I'll do like a quick inspection, but then after I got all my items in my basket that I wanna check out with, I go through my basket again and kind of like, you know, do a process of elimination and really, really inspect my stuff and I try things on. That brings us to our next 
And last tip, which is try your items on. So I do thrift a lot for myself and I do for my children too. So if I have my kids with me, I will make them try things on. You know, that stuff takes time. And if I'm thrifting for me, I do try things on because I don't want to, you know, have something that I, you know, just throw it in the basket and then I'm like, oh my God, I love this so much. And then I get home and it doesn't fit or it doesn't look right. Like I just, you know, wasted money. And then a lot of thrift stores, their return policies, like they don't, at least for my thrift stores, they don't really let you return. They'll let you exchange, but they don't let you like return for a refund or anything. So make sure you know the refund policies when it comes to thrifting. And that way, you know, you know what you're going into. So try things on, see how they fit, grab things that you, you know, think you like or that you love and try them on. So I also grab things that may not be my size normally. Um, like this blazer, for instance, this is a size six and I just love the way it fits on me. It's vintage. I love the fit and I don't normally wear a size six. So even if you think it's too small or you think it's too big, just grab it anyways and try it on and you never know. You never know. Another thing that I like to bring with me is a tape measure. So I'll measure like the waist of pants. I'll measure the length. I will measure um, the um, pit to pit. So, you know, the bust size or whatever. I'm really bad with measurements. So <laughs> whatever this one is, I like to measure that one on my tops to know those measurements. And that kind of cuts down on my try on time. So if I measure something, then no more or less that it's if it's gonna fit or not. So I keep a handy dandy little tape measure with me. I do have this random one that I've received. And then you can also use one of those like little ones like from a sewing kit. I usually carry that one around too, but this is just handy to have so that way you know what measurements you're looking for. And measure items that you already have and uh, know those measurements um, like a pair of pants that you love the way they fit or they just fit great, measure them so that way you know what measurements to look for. Same thing with tops and shoes as well. So that way you don't grab anything that you think might fit and then it ends up not fitting because you don't know what your measurements are. So tape measure, that's such a great thing to have on hand. Well, that is it, you guys. That is all I have for you. I hope these tips inspire you to go out there, try thrifting, you know, give it a go. And I hope that you enjoy it. You find some good stuff. Let me know in the comments, you know, if there's any other tips that you would like to add on. These are just things that I've come up with over the course of time of me thrifting. I'm always learning. I'm always looking out for, you know, new ways to thrift and things like that. So yeah. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I hope I get to upload another video before Christmas time. And if I don't, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and I will see you all soon. Happy thrifting.